Former crypto king Sam Bankman Freed is facing up to 110 years in prison. I'm Khalila Reynolds, financial journalist and educator. The founder of FTX, one of the world's biggest cryptocurrency trading platforms has been found guilty on seven charges of fraud. Before his business imploded last year, Sam Bankman-Fried's net worth was estimated to be around 15 billion US dollars. Now he's facing decades in prison. Now some quick background if you're not familiar with this whole situation. Sam Bankman-Fried used to be one of the biggest names in the cryptocurrency world. He founded FTX, which up until November last year was the second largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. FTX allowed users to connect their wallets to conduct trades and exchange digital currencies, among other things. The company and its owner were really popular. People called Bankman Fried the poster boy for crypto, saying he's the future of the industry. He even donated over 40 million US dollars to both Democrats and Republicans. And FTX also reportedly paid millions to rename the Miami Heat the FTX Arena. They even sponsored F1 teams. So both Bankman Freed and FTX were riding high until about a year ago when news emerged there was some funny business going on at FTX. According to court testimony, while SBF was selling the exchange to investors as safe and secure, the company was falsifying numbers and using customer funds to bankroll his other businesses. Once that news was out, all hell broke loose. FTX customers made a mad dash to pull their investments, which of course revealed more cracks because FTX couldn't afford to pay back everyone all at once. The company ended up filing for bankruptcy, which triggered another crypto winter. The price of Bitcoin fell dramatically. Other crypto exchanges had to conduct mass layoffs, and even a couple of them went out of business. Now Bankman Freed has been found guilty of seven fraud charges, including wire fraud, conspiracy to commit wire fraud, and conspiracy to commit money laundering. In his defense, the former crypto king said he had no malicious intent and that he just honestly failed at running a high-risk business. He denied ever being directly involved in the misuse of customer funds, but his former co-workers testified the opposite, and well, the jury found him guilty. So, Bankman Fried is headed back to court in March for his sentencing. He's facing up to 110 years in prison, and that's the bottom line. So what do you think? Is this just a risky business or something else? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to my newsletter for money news like this straight to your inbox. Click the link up here or in the description below. Let's get this money. Let's get this money. <laughs> <laughs>